Hello everyone, welcome to With Heart. When we moved into our house, it had a whole lot of old blinds on pretty much every window. So rather than replace all of them with custom Roman shades, I wanted to see if there was a way to incorporate all of the old blinds into new Roman shades. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you today, how to create Roman shades out of existing blinds. and none of them were very expensive. The blinds we already had, so I just removed the blind that was already on my window. Next you need the fabric of your choice, and I chose this cross-section kind of geometric pattern. So that's the fabric I'm going to use. You need a really nice pair of scissors to cut your fabric with, and then also a pair of scissors that you don't mind getting maybe some fabric glue on. And that leads me to my next thing, you need some fabric glue. Fabric Tack is one of my favorite fabric glues, but really any fabric glue will work. And it dries clear, so don't worry about getting it on your fabric. You'll need a measuring tape, and you'll need a pen and some paper to take some notes. I've measured the inside of my window, and there's a little bit of a formula to get the measurements just right. So when you measure the inside of your window, you want to remove a fourth of an inch off of the measurement and then add two full inches. And the reason for that is because the inside of your window, the blind or the Roman shade is going to go inside your window and you don't want it to be too tight against the edges, but then also you have to allow two extra inches so you can fold over this, the edge of the fabric and get kind of like a seamed look. So that's the reason for the measurement. So I've done that both for the height and the width of my window. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is marking where I want the fold on my fabric to be. So I'm gonna use some fabric glue and I'm going to fold over each side so that it creates a hemmed look on the sides of the Roman shades. But I need to know exactly where to fold it over so that it fits. So my window is 20, I need it to be 23 inches wide, so I cut 25, I actually cut a little bit wider on each side than 25 inches to give myself those two extra inches, one on each side. So now I'm going through and I'm measuring 23 inches in the center of my fabric and putting a little mark, and that's where my fabric is gonna fold over and I'm gonna glue it down with fabric glue. Now I'm to the point where I'm ready to start gluing my edges down. Now I've learned this lesson the hard way, but make sure that you do it on a surface that you don't mind getting glue on and also that you can pull your fabric off of really easily because this glue is pretty powerful and most of the time it doesn't seep through, but it does seep through sometimes. And when I first did this, I was doing it on my countertop and I glued the fabric to my countertop and then had to scrub all of the glue <laughs> off of my countertop. So don't make that mistake. So I'm just doing it on my ironing board, which I don't mind if I get a little bit of glue on. And I'm just going to basically squirt the glue underneath where my fold was, where I ironed my fold down, and then just smooth it over just like that. Looks like you sewed it. And when you get to the corners, you'll just want to cut off a little edge of the corner so that it's not quite as bulky when you glue it down. Now that our fabric is finished, we're ready to get started on altering the blinds a bit. So I've laid out my blind right here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this cord right here. Now there are two cords that run through the length of the blind. One of them goes through all of the slats and holds them up, and then the other is this, this outside cord, and this outside cord is the one we're gonna cut. Don't cut the center cord, because that will pretty much make your blinds useless. So just be sure to cut this outside cord and cut it all the way away. And what this does is it loosens up all of the slats and allows them to go anywhere that you want them to go. So I wanna keep eight of these, seven of these, seven to eight. And the reason is uh, because this is what we're gonna glue to our fabric to hold our Roman shade in place and also make it functional. So I don't need all of these slats left on, I only need seven of them. So I'm gonna count out seven. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. And I want them to go about eight inches apart on my Roman shade. The rest of these guys, I can just cut off and get rid of. Just be careful again not to cut that cord. Now we're ready to start gluing it down. And remember when you're gluing that this stuff goes a long way. So you really don't need a ton of it. And if you do have a ton of it, it's just gonna seep through onto the other side. So let it dry a little bit longer, but don't feel like you need a ton of glue. We're flipping over all of our slats now. You want to glue so that the curved side is down, so that the hollow side is up, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna glue, and just be careful when you're gluing not to glue the cord. And we're gonna flip it over, and we made these little marks so that we know exactly where it needs to go. And then just lay it in place and smooth it over. Now we're to the bottom of our blind. I've glued down all the slats, and now all that's left is this heavy bottom piece. So what I'm gonna do is just fold it up, and then I'm gonna place glue right in this groove, and then put the fabric just right on top of it. There are so many things that I love about this project. It came together pretty quickly. It was relatively inexpensive and it's recycling something that was already in my home. So we didn't have any waste at all. I hope that you've learned something and that maybe it's inspired you to do DIY Roman shades in your home. Thanks so much for watching.